Welcome to another video and today I'm gonna show you one Valorant ace with every gun. Getting an ace in Valorant always feels very satisfying, but getting an ace in Valorant by only using a shorty for example? Ooh la la my friends. We're gonna start with the easiest guns and with the hard ones and give you guys a lot of tips and tricks about those guns in between. Let's kick things off simple with the Vandal Ace. This should be the easiest gun to make an ace with right? I mean look at this. One enemy remaining. Or is the Phantom an easier one to make an ace with? What I do know is that working together with your teammates and using abilities is the perfect combination to get an ace. In this round, Phoenix went for an aggressive A long peak and sadly died. So Kanso went for the refrag with his flashbang and suddenly got 5 enemies. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe the Odin is the easiest gun to make an ace with. Chamber is made. Kimbo, you're so good! Well played, let me know what you think is the easiest gun in the comments down below. Now before we go to the harder ones, did you ever make an ace just to realize, oh no, I have no way to record this clip. If this happened to you, no worries, with the sponsor of this video, buff.game, you can record your highlights, upload it on the app and share it with all your friends. It's very simple, but my friends, recording your highlights is not the real reason why you should download buff. Because with this app, you could actually get Valorant skins for free. What Mr. Lowlander for free? Yeah my friends, this is how it works. When you download buff and let it run on the background, you will earn buff points. And with those points you can buy Valorant gift cards, Steam gift cards or even gaming hardware. It's so simple, you basically don't have to do anything, just play your favorite games like Valorant, League of Legends or Fortnite. What you could do however is do some challenges to earn some extra points. Always fun to have an extra challenge during the games. Buff is partnered with big esports organizations like NRG and is built on the trusted Ofwolf platform so it's safe to use. It also doesn't slow down your PC so what I would say, try it out with the link in the description. It's completely free to download so why not my friends. Big thanks to Buff for supporting this channel, I love to work with them and now let's continue the video. Let's continue this video with the Aries. If you decide to camp in a small corner like this one and you just have enough money for either a Spectre or an Aries, often picking up an Aries is a bit better. If you suddenly spot 5 enemies you don't have to reload after a few kills. Oh, oh my god! Get nice. these! Get these! Nice! Next one, the Bulldog. If you ever play against an omen and you see that he still has his ultimate ready, don't leave all the sides to rush him, because of course he can teleport to the other side of the map to plant a spike for example. But an even more important tip in a 5 versus 1 or 4 versus 1, don't be greedy for the kill. Push together, don't push one by one, otherwise this might happen. Well played, Lamp. Next one, the Guardian. I think this is one of the most underrated guns as long as you can hit the heads. And this is what it looks like if you have nice aim. Also, do you guys miss Breeze already? Because I don't. Nice. Nancy, you're welcome. One enemy. Jeez, dude, that one was insane. Now it's time for the Spectre. That one was quick. Ooh, we're getting in some harder territory at this moment. Let's talk about the judge. The thing about the judge is that you have to be a bit lucky if you want to get an ace purely with this gun. Because of course you have to get close to the enemies and often there's that one guy chilling far away. But no problem for George and Lisan. Spike down. One enemy remaining. Now four. The Operator. I know, this one is a bit high on the list. In my opinion, the Operator isn't really made to make 5 kills. Often, when the enemy spots you, they're not gonna peek you again, or they're gonna go full rush, so you have to switch to your pistol. And for most players, especially in the lower ranks, it's very hard to operate the Operator. But no problem for cheese scenery. I got level. Ultimate ready. One enemy standing. 5 shots, 0 misses. That's how you're supposed to play this gun. It's Bucky time. The only real way to get an ace with this gun is if the enemies are rushing you one by one. But like I said earlier in this video, if you are playing 1 versus 4 or 1 versus 5 for example, the enemies will get greedy. So easy peasy for cash stun. Enemy down. One enemy remaining. The Stinger. Oh, this one is a hard one to get an ace with. The problem is that you only have 20 bullets and usually that's only enough for like one or two kills. The only tip I can give about this gun is try to get as close to the enemies as you can be. The Marshall is the last gun before we go to the pistols. If you want to get an ace by only using the Marshall, you have to be extremely skillful. With the Bucky, you can pray that the enemies are trying to knife you for example. But with the Marshall, you have to go for the long range fights and you have to hit the heads. Otherwise, the enemies will just kill you. So big respect to Benza. Finished. 
Nice. In a month. One enemy remaining. Nice. Bensa is making it look easy like what the heck. And before we go to the pistols, there are some honorable mentions. Because there are more ways to get the enemies right, with the Sofa Recondart and an Ultimate for example. What the f Oh my god! Or look at these, six kills with the jet knives. You will not kill my allies! Three, two, one enemy remaining. You got an ace over here, and not sure if you want to count the last one, but hey, six kills is six kills. Mine. <laughs> and then the last honorable mention, the Neon Ultimate. This is a very nice aggressive push, Mills Vadils. Let's go to the pistols. I think the sheriff should be the easiest, right? It's the only pistol that can get an insta kill on a fully armored enemy. This ace is made in spike rush, but still very impressive. Player stand. Next one, the ghost. I think the best pistol for the average person. Effective on long range, short range, and don't give finger noodle one. Enemy remaining. Now let's do the classic. Honestly, I have no idea what's happening in this round. Digga, wie wir gefickt wurden, Hilfe! Nice, love you! Oh my god, der beste Schüler! <laughs> Good gespielt, Slavio. The frenzy. I've placed this gun under the classic. The main reason for this is because the magazine of this gun runs out so quickly. And often when you get a kill with this gun, you just drop it and pick up another gun from the ground. Because the reload is so slow. Even though this gun is not the best one, there are some legends that still can make an ace with it. And Dr. Freeze is one of them. I mean, look at this round. It's so insane. <laughs> Well played, Dr. Freeze. And now, the gun we've all been waiting for, the Shorty. The Shorty is one of those guns that nobody likes. When you use the gun yourself, you probably shoot the enemies two times at point-blank range, but only hit him for 80. And there's nothing more tilting where you get killed by this gun. You can't just make an ace with the Shorty by luck, you have to outplay the enemies. Play around the smoke, for example, or use a crazy omen teleport. And that's what the legend himself, again, Dr. Freeze, did. He's doing a Shorty to Immortal challenge on his own channel, so really check it out if you want to see clips like this one. <laughs> Ending with an attack helicopter, I see my friend, I see. And this was the last gun, the knife isn't really a gun. I've never seen someone making an ace with only using the knife, but if you did, feel free to send them in the Discord server. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.